Hey, 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 it's your boy Bumpy, man. It's been a minute since I've done a video, but today, I got a treat. So, this is a nice looking thermometer here. Looks pretty new. And, uh, this, my good people, is my new toy. The Kingsford Rancher XL36. Just got her home. And now, I'm about to go ahead and uh, get a seasoned so I can go ahead and start cooking. Just open her up here. This is a nice heavy metal. has a good gasket all the way around on it has two levels to cook on um, plenty of space I know I could easily probably do six six racks of baby backs probably four four uh, spares um, if I use that second level, then probably more. Go. Nice heavy smokestack. Side box. Here. Hmm. Bit of. Hmm. So, how to get that all kind of cleaned out a little bit more and then. We're gonna get this thing seasoned up. All right, so, so I'm about to get us seasoned up. And the first thing I did was I kind of uh, removed any little particles as much as I could. I'm not really worried about anything, um, but anything that was left behind by the manufacturer or anyone, the person that put it together. Um, I got some basic olive oil spray that I sprayed the whole chamber smoker side box I sprayed it all and so <clears throat> with this particular smoker um, it comes with some side box grill grates I'm never going to grill use this as a grill ever I have a grill I also have a acorn so if I need to grill grill I'll use my regular grill or the acorn I'm never going to use this for grilling so charcoal will never go inside this chamber here and I'm never going to use the side box um, for grilling i you know depending on what the fire temp is like if the fire is going down low I might use it as a warmer or something just to put something on there to keep it warm but um I'll never use it as a grill. Um, so the pluses about this so far is that just that heavy gauge metal. And I'm trying to see. Uh, let's see. Here we go. There you go. Yep. So these are some of the specs that it has um, I love the tables I love the shelves here and here I love that so what I'm going to end up doing is so I'm probably going to end up getting getting me a firebox uh, made 
for for in here. Uh, but until then, let's see. This was like yeah, this some paper. Until then, yeah. Like I said, that's gonna all burn up, and I'm not tripping. That's what this whole seasoning process is about. Until then, I'm gonna use this. And I'm probably going to use one of these crates. That's kind of like a, you know, secondary, uh, like just a side or something um, for it until I get me a good firebox. So, like I said, I got it all sprayed up, seasoned up, and. I'm going to go ahead and get the fire started. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and get this fire started. So again, a couple of, a couple of kindling sticks and fire cubes. There we go. And um, yeah, I'm gonna let this go. I don't have no time frame, of course. I just lay this thing so wide open. Cause you know, of course, when you are doing a seasoning of any type of smoke or grill, leave everything. You want to get up as high as 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 hot as you know it can. You know, at this point, I'm gonna look for any type of smoke or any type of little seeping holes I'm, I'm thinking this is going to be pretty pretty airtight all right so at this point i got to go and return uh, a couple of things including the trailer that i used to get this with but i'm gonna go ahead and let this burn and uh and go from there so Again, this is the Kingsford uh, Kingsford Professional 36 Rancher XL smoker. Just got her today, about an hour ago. And uh, oh yeah, can't wait for the first cook. So it's your boy Bumpy, man. That'd be good, be great. Have a good one.